In our previous video where we tested the range of the TYT UV98, we dealt with a rubber duck antenna, an aftermarket one from Smiley, the stock antenna, and counterpoise. And just to recap, we started from here in Banff with the stock antenna and if you follow along with my cursor hand here you'll see the points where we graduated from the stock antenna to the aftermarket 5 8 wave smiley IPX and then got to the point where we got a better signal by adding counterpoise uh, and then we got as far as 9 kilometers away with no signal. What we also covered in there was the only low point of ground was here where we switched to the smiley which was the fourth point. All the other points along here were high points of ground including the point where we got no signal although it's not the highest. Actually here would be the highest and then that descends just zoom in there a little bit more for you. So after you've left you can see here where you climb up you hit some flats and then right around about in here you start to descend down to around here and then after this you get a steep descent down into this bridge and down into this watershed so now you're you're probably down a hundred meters from where there's no signal and maybe perhaps even 125 from up in here to down in there. So then what I did tonight was grabbed a 5 8 wave telescoping a couple of them actually and I put one on the radio and BAMF along with counterpoise and then I took another one along with counterpoise and went straight down to this location here where this bridge is and I first of all made a call uh, uh, sorry um, I just realized I also made my first call from here with no counterpoise and that's still above you can see right in here this is a hill going down to that bridge and so from here I was able to make contact with Sharon with no counterpoise and then I rode down here and this is a metal bridge first of all I stood in the middle of the bridge and uh, I was able to make contact again with no counterpoise. Then I had counterpoise to see if it improved the signal and she said it was about the same. And I also went off the bridge over in here which you can see in this following video. And it'll give you a ground truth shot of what we were dealing with here. So we'll do that now. Here's the uh, spray bridge about 11 kilometers from uh, Banff the base and from the middle of the bridge I got a signal of 5x5 five five. and when I moved over here just to see if all the metal on the bridge was helping me with the ground plane Sharon reported the same signal from right here about the middle of my screen is where I stood alright so now you've seen that point because the reception was still 5x5 five five in here I wanted to increase this test a little more and so the trail then leaves climbs up a pretty steep hill goes up through here you can just see this up through the trees and then you get it flattens out into a higher point because I was getting reception even lower down I was very confident that there'd be no problem getting reception here without counterpoise. 
then you end up coming down this hill here and this is downhill all the way until you get to Goat Creek and you can see this bridge right in here and now I'll pause and give you a ground shot video of what we're looking at from the ground here. So here we are at Goat Creek and I'll show you on the Google map where we are. We're about 13 kilometers from the base but what's significant about this location is our elevation. We're down in a hole as you can see here um, in a bit of a canyon and the creek flattens out over here but I am obstructed by terrain features and from this location I made one contact out of six without the counterpoise attached with adding counterpoise I'm able to make contact every time but the signal is about four by three so that's what I'm going to call our limit for today. I expect you could probably move on up as the trail does go up to a higher point of ground and then it travels along higher so you may get about as much as another four or five kilometers up on that higher ground by using the system which is the radio with the 5 8 wave and th this is VHF of course and the counterpoise. Then from here I tried first of all to make contact with no counterpoise. As you can see it is quite a bit lower here and now we'll zoom out and it'll give you an overview as to where I was talking to. So here is where the home radio was and I was down over in here. So the significance of this in terms is less in terms of distance and more in terms of elevation where I was down in a hole and um, so in here then again I was able to make contact only once out of six tries with no counterpoise. When I added the counterpoise then I was able to make contact each time and uh, the signal strength was about 4 by 4 or there was more static uh, or dare say 4 by 3. Uh, I could have gone up through here and proceeded on up in through this area but as you saw in the video it was getting dark and uh, I had to get started rolling back. So the moral of this story is the 5 8 wave telescoping and counterpoise again it keeps working and extending your range out and your ability to overcome various terrain features that could otherwise obstruct your signal propagation it helps and uh, that'll be the ultimate that you're going to get in a portable setup short of uh, lifting a long wire up with a drone or looping something over a tree and pulling it up through the branches as is common with hunter camps and so on. 